Hi, and welcome back to our series of interviews from AU. I'm here with a very esteemed guest, Dave Lavery from NASA, and I can't possibly say his title and what he does, so welcome, Dave. Hi. Why don't you tell us what you do for NASA and your title and all that? The formal title is Program Executive for Solar System Exploration. Like every other title in Washington, the longer it is, the less important it is. They sort of start, start with president, really, really big thing, and sort of goes from there. Oh, okay. Do we have an acronym? Yeah, it's okay. one of those big ones. <laughs> okay. So tell us about your role at NASA and uh, what you're responsible for. I'm responsible for several of the Mars exploration missions. The, the title program executive really means I'm the one person whose full-time it is at NASA headquarters to basically manage and direct several of the Mars exploration missions. Wow. The ones in particular I'm working on are the Spirit and the Opportunity rovers that landed in 2004. They're mine. Oh, wow. Um, and also the Mars Science Lab, which will be launching next November to Mars, which is sort of the big grown-up brother of the rovers, is also my project. Wow, that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, tell me about education as part of what you do. Why is that so important for NASA and for your role? NASA's fundamental charter has three parts to it. Basically, we have been told with the Space Act that created the agency that we have to do three things. We have to expand human presence into space, we have to explore the universe, and the third part that's the big important part is we have to tell the public who's paying for it what we're doing and what we're learning. So education is really written into the very core of what the agency is all about. And everything that we do across the board is all about taking that knowledge that we've learned and disseminating it out at every different level, K through 12, college, grad school, general public, everything. Wow. Um, what what is the bird's eye view? Tell us, step back a bit. Tell us what the bird's eye view in, in the NASA education programs is. We have a series of different programs that are sort of targeted at every different possible level, from very, very formal programs targeted at putting curriculum materials into classrooms to help learn about space and the universe, all the way through informal participative programs that are just targeted at putting engineers and students together in common environments and letting one just work and learn with the other just by working side by side. Formal uh, sponsored programs and research that goes and helps uh, scientists and researchers do experiments and conduct space uh, uh, payload preparation, all the way to very, very informal activities that are classroom cutout paper models that, that, that students can build just to get the idea of what a spacecraft might look like, and everything in between. Oh, that's great. Um, I imagine this is probably just one small part of everything that you do, but out of, out of your daily job and your, your you know, broad career, what, what gets you excited? What's really, really the best thing that you do? I think it has to be the fact that every 26 months, there is a rocket that leaves Earth that goes to another planet and it's got my name on it. And just, you know, <laughs> as, as a kid growing up in the 60s yeah. who got excited by the Apollo program, the idea of, of p putting people on the moon, being able to sit and say that I get to do that stuff that I've wanted to do since I was six years old, mm -hmm. that's incredibly exciting to me. And it, it gets you very passionate about what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Wow, and, and obviously you mentioned being six years old. I mean, that's part of the education piece of it is really early start on, on some of this stuff. Absolutely, and what we found is that the people that work on some of the projects that we have literally have been passionate about exploration of space ever since they were small, and they've carried that through their, their entire life, their entire academic career, and their professional careers. And one of the things that we try to do in the whole education and outreach activities that we do is find a way to light that same spark in the next generation of six-year-olds. Right. right, and that's part of what Autodesk is doing with their education program as well. So for the students listening today, when you describe yourself, are you a scientist, an engineer, an explorer or a designer, and what advice do you have for the kids that are contemplating these careers? If I'm really honest about it, today, I'm a bureaucrat. Uh oh. But I started by being an engineer and a scientist and a technologist, all rolled into one. I've continued to actually have big aspects of all those in what I do today as well and carry that forward. There's a, an awful lot, just the nature of what we do is obviously very technical, but we draw all those bits and pieces in. And the thing that I found is just a fundamental truth. My, my teachers told it to me when I was little. I didn't believe them then, but now I do, is all that really cool stuff about math and science and technology that I learned when I was in grade school and then in college and grad school, it really does stay with you, and you really want to keep with it because you keep drawing that same stuff all the way through your career. So, you know, why do I need this teacher? You need it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, Dave, thank you so much for being with us. Great stuff. Can't wait to see the next rocket go up. It'll be fun. All right. Thank you.